service on the Intel Labs, which means that I'll give a little disclaimer, which is that what you're going to see isn't a product, it isn't on a product roadmap, this is us exploring the technologies that may come into play as, as TV evolves, um, as some of the, the products that you've heard uh, discussed uh, start to come to market, uh, or be, you know, beyond, beyond those first products. So, and one of, the, one of the problems that Genevieve alluded to is there's just tons of content out there, right? Um, there's content that's available uh, over the air. There's content that's available to download. There's content that, that your TiVo is recorded for you and you have to remember to watch. Um, and she talked about TiVo guilt. Uh, and what we want to do is make sure that you know what's on and that you, the thing, you don't miss the things that you want to see. So how do we do that? Well, since we're Intel, we think about the TV, but we also think about your PC and we think about your cell phone, and mine just crashed. Uh, and so what we, what we want to have is a situation where all of your devices work together to understand who you are and what content is of interest to you and provide a personalized entertainment experience that crosses over all these devices. All right, um, so what does that mean? Okay, well, so let's talk about the different devices. Well, obviously you have the TV, and the TV knows um, what you watch when you sit down in front of it, right? It knows the kind of content that you like. But there's more than just that, right? There's also um, your phone, which knows where you go all day long, uh, what you did today, what you're likely to do tomorrow, when you have to wake up in the morning because it's got your calendar. Um, it knows, it does not, knows not just where you go, but also knows where you don't go. I don't know if you've ever been annoyed by the commercials um, in this area. They're still, to this day, they play Chili's commercials. There's no Chili's here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the, you know, so showing you advertisements for stores that are in places that you don't go and aren't going to go tomorrow is just as important as telling you about the restaurants that are at, in New York and you're going to be there tomorrow. Um, so, so there's that. But there's also the notion of, gee, you know, who are you? Are you the kind of person who is interested in home improvement? Are you interested in music? Are you interested in, um, in uh, fashion or in furniture? Um, that's going to be reflected in the stores you shop in, how long you spend there, where you go, and who you go there with. And your phone knows those things. And then there's your PC, right? Your PC knows what you browse on the web. That's simple, right? Everywhere you go on the web. So, um, so let me let me show you a little something. First of all, um, what we can do is, oops, once we know who you are, right? And one way that we can know who you are is when you come close to the television with your phone. When you come close to the television with your phone, there you are, right? And what happened in this particular case is my viewing guide came up, right? So this isn't a list of everything that's on channel by channel. Um, everything that's available from the internet, all the Netflix movies and whatever. This is things that are of interest to me. And this particular list is built up based on content that I've watched at home, based on traces that we took at my house. Um, so that's, that's easy. That's sort of obvious. Um, the other thing that we can do, though, is if I sit down at my PC, and this is, so this is, pretend this is my living room, and I'm uh, sitting down on my laptop, and the other screen is obviously just there so that you can see what I'm doing. Let's say I, um, let's say I go to, let's say I can spell, I go to Macy's.com, and I'm interested, here's something I was actually doing this weekend, and I was interested in shopping for deck chairs, whoops. And one of the things that happened here, I misspelled it, but it sort of figured it out anyway, is that it knows based on uh, the web browsing that I'm doing, that I have an interest in furniture. Now, you have to forgive me because I can't do a demo that shows you it building up my interests over the course of days or weeks or months. So the intent here <coughs> isn't that you know instantly when I type in a search something happens, but that over time it builds up the notion that I'm interested in music and um, home decoration and home improvement or whatever I'm interested in. And one thing that it can do is, as, I, as it becomes knowledgeable about what I'm interested in, it can, it can remind me when I sit down in front of my television, hey, did you know that there are a couple shows on your PBR 
that are potentially of interest to you, and we know you don't want to um, watch them right now. They're interested in what you're doing right now, but we know you don't want to watch them on your laptop. We know you want to watch them on the big screen. So it pops up a box that says, hey, those are available to you, but it doesn't say I can play them here. Over on the, on the right, though, on the TV, what's changed is that the viewing guide now takes into account the notion that there's, um, that there's content that's related to home decoration. Right? So, um, and that's popped up in priority, and, and I can, and I can, and it gives me the same little icon that it showed on my, on my desktop. So that's, so that's content. We can also get advertising, obviously. Um, so let's say that I, um, let's say I go to, So let's say we go to Best Buy. Let's say I'm interested in, um, let's say I'm doing a home improvement project. I need a new saw for this project. I go in here, do the same thing it did before. But the, oops, <laughs> sorry. Let's try Home Depot. So what's going to happen once the internet responds? I'm going to get I'm going to get some stuff. I can go in. I can do some browsing and look at a product that I might be interested in. Um, but what's going to happen is that it's going to adjust the advertising that I see based on the kinds of things that I'm looking for. So you can see that it says, "Oh, you have a home improvement project to do. Look, here's an opportunity for you to buy something that doesn't have to find match your needs." Can you opt out of this advertising? So, so let's so let's take a sidestep. That's a perfect question. Um, so, there's two kinds of things that come into play here. One of them is, well, do I want to be interrupted? And the other one is, do uh, is the privacy question. Let's talk about the privacy question first. Um, what people do, what, what companies do in the internet right now about the privacy issue is that they collect data about you and then they advertise to you based on the data that they collect about you. You have neither control nor um, uh, nor visibility into what it is they're doing, nor do you get any benefit from it other than perhaps better advertising. Um, what we're doing is different. What you're seeing is a demonstration where I collect information here, I collect information here, I collect information there. It's on your devices, you own it. You decide what you want to do with it. If you don't want advertisements, then you flip the switch that says don't use that information to drive advertisements. Um, the data stays on your devices, and you decide what to do with it. That when I drove that advertisement, it didn't go out to an ad uh, to a, a vendor and say, do you want to advertise this person? It filtered content for you. It said, uh, which of these 20 advertisements would make more sense, most sense for you? So essentially, this changes the entire game. Potential. Okay.